I'm Laura Garcia. I'm Eddie Adams. And I'm Alex Walls. And we'll be performing a scene from God of Carnage. This piece is asterisk for sexual content, language, and substance abuse. So if any of this offends you, please feel free to leave now. Okay, thank you. And we proudly represent one of us for the last, the last time. time. District 5, Troop 7 4. I am up to here with all these idiotic discussions. We tried to be nice. We bought tulips. My wife passed me off as a liberal. But I can't take it anymore. I am not a member of polite society. What I am, and always have been, is a Neanderthal. <laughs> Aren't we all? No. No, I'm sorry we are not all Neanderthals. Obviously not you. No, not me, thank God. Not you. You're a fully evolved woman. You're staying resistant. Why are you attacking me? I'm not attacking you. It's quite the opposite. Yes, you're attacking me. You know you are. You organized this little shindig. I just let myself be recruited. You let yourself be recruited? Yes. That's detestable. Not at all. You stand up for civilization. That's completely to your credit. Exactly. I am standing up for civilization. And it's lucky there are people that are prepared to do that. Do you think it's a better idea to just be a Neanderthal? Oh, come on. Is it normal to criticize someone for not being a Neanderthal? No one is saying that. Nobody is criticizing you. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Well, what were we supposed to do? Sue you? Not speak to one another and try and slaughter each other with insurance claims? Stop it, Ronnie. Stop what? You're pulling things out of proportion. <laughs> well, I don't give a damn. Force yourself to rise of a petty mindedness and you end up humiliated and completely on your own. Murray, I'll prove it. We're always on our own. Everywhere. Just who answer. wants a little rum? So you see, I'm living with someone who's totally negative. Who's negative? I am. <laughs> this was the worst idea. We should have never arranged this meeting. I told you. <laughs> yes. You told me that you didn't want to have this meeting. I didn't think it was a good idea. It, it was a good idea. Please, anybody. You told me that you didn't think it was a good idea. I think so. You think so. I wouldn't mind a little drop. Didn't you have to go? <laughs> you manage a small glass, and I would have come this far. You look me in the eye and tell me we were in complete agreement about this. <laughs> Anyone touching the kafuti this morning, huh? Who said, oh, let's save the rest of the kafuti for the Raleigh's, huh? Who said it? That was nice. What's that got to do with it? What do you mean, what's that got to do with it? You invite people, you invite people. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. He's a liar. You know, speaking personally, my wife had to drag me here. <laughs> And when you're brought up with this kind of John Wayne-ish idea of virility, you don't want to settle this kind of problem with a lot of yak. Exactly. I thought your model was Spartacus. Same family. Analogous. <laughs> Analogous? <laughs> Are there lengths you will go to to humiliate yourself, Michael? Obviously, it was pointless dragging him here. What were you hoping for, Wolf Wolf? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's a ludicrous name. Were you hoping for a glimpse of universal harmony? This room is terrific. Is, isn't it? English Harbor, 10 years old, direct from Antigua. 10 the tulips? Whose idea was that? I said it is a shame the tulips are finished. I didn't say go down to the Korean deli at the crack of Don't dawn. Don't put yourself up to this thing, Veronica. It's crazy. The tulips are his idea. Entirely his idea. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we allowed to drink? Oh. Yes. Veronica and I would like one too. By the way, I find it pretty amusing that someone descended from Spartacus and John Wayne who can't even pick up a mouth. Will you shut up? Will you shut up about the hamster? You're right. It's laughable. Drink it up like a hamster. Here. What about her? 
and she needs any. <laughs> Give me a drink, Michael. No. Michael? No. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Michael? Sorry, take a drink. Who cares? I don't care. <laughs> is alcohol bad for you? It is wonderful. <laughs> well, Mr. Rock. Alan. Alan. We're not exactly soulmates, you and I, but as you can see, I live with a man who has decided for himself once and for all that life is second rate. It's very difficult to live with a man who comforts himself with the thought, who doesn't want anything to change, who can't work up any sort of <laughs> about anything. I don't give a damn. He doesn't give a damn about any of that. You have to. You have to believe me. <laughs> He's the last person you should be telling all this. Now I will speak to whoever I damn well please. What is with this psychodrama? Veronica, are we ever interested in anything but ourselves? Uh, of course, we'd all like to believe in the possibility of improvement. But does such a thing exist? In life, people drag their feet. It's the way. Others refuse to acknowledge the passing of time. What difference does it make? People struggle until they're dead. Education, the miseries of the world. So you're writing a book. Fine. I can understand you're saying to yourself, I'm going to choose a massacre. But what else does history consist of? And I'm going to write a write about it. You do what you can to save yourself. No, I'm not writing that book to save myself. You haven't read it. You don't know what it's about. It makes no difference. I'm sorry. Not your fault. I wasn't over here babbling like a lunatic. Anyway, why can't we take things more lightly? Why does everything have to be so exhausting? Do you see what I have to live shut with? Shut up. Will you shut up? I detest this pathetic complicity. You disgust me. You have a sense of humor. Oh, no, but I don't have a sense of humor. <laughs> and I have no intention of acquiring one. See, what I always say is, <laughs> oh, is marriage the most terrible ordeal God can inflict upon you. Thank you.